The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey guys, it's Dupree, aka Darth Hater here with my Bad Batch Season 1 review. Better late than never, but I wanted to get this one out for you guys. And I'll explain why it's as late as it is coming out right now. Also, before we get into it, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and also hit that like button and the bell so you can get more in the know. Uh, being completely honest, I was super hyped about the show. The first few episodes like kept me very entertained, especially the first episode, the 70 minute first episode, and then the show kind of lost interest with me. I started to do end up reaction videos and breakdowns every episode. And then as the episodes kept going, I just lost interest. And I know a lot of people around the fandom felt the same way as I did. I didn't lose hope for the show. I just felt that it wasn't really for me, at, at least this season. But anyway, uh, that being said, I want to say, I will say this was a good show. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't, uh, for lack of word to say, as bad as Star Wars Resistance, but this was enjoyable. I would safely compare it to the first season of The Clone Wars and The Clone Wars movie, which a lot of people don't really remember. That season was mostly just setting up characters and a little bit of world building and kind of just off episodes, which was the same here. We got a 70 minute first episode, which was amazing. It set up Order 66. We got a great cameos with Emperor Palpatine, Tarkin, Kanan, and his master Depa Balaba. We also got to see the inner workings of Kamino. Uh, what happened with the clones right after Order 66 and the aftermath of the chip in their heads. And then we go to the next episode where they go to see um, another clone and help out on like another world. And then eventually Lord Mantell and meet up with Sid. And after that, just do job after job after job. And honestly, I was with this show up until that. Little nuggets here and there kept me with the show. Going to the planet where Cal Kestis, the junk planet where Cal Kestis uh, was in, Je in the Jedi Fallen Order game. I know a lot of guys were saying it would have been nice to see him, but at this point in time in the galaxy, he's probably still hiding out trying to find himself before he even goes there because it's right after Order 66 and he's still pretty young, if you guys can remember. The next edition also, which was really cool, I thought them introducing Captain Rex and we already know going forward to season two, which was also announced that he's going to have a slightly bigger role. And this is probably going to lead into where he is in Star Wars Rebels with Gregor and Wolf. The only other highlight of the show, I will say for me personally, was the introduction, the reintroduction of Cad Bane and Fennec Shan, two favorites from Clone Wars and The Mandalorian. This version, I would say, of Cad Bane was a little bit more disappointing. One thing I will I would say I was a little bit more bummed about was the fact that under Cad Bane's hat there is a cover that he didn't have before, like a metal plate or something like that. So that tells me that in this period of the timeline, or even before this episode, or the events of Order 66 are around that, Cad Bane and Boba Fett actually might have had their infamous showdown and the deleted scenes that was in the Clone Wars shown at Star Wars Celebration some years back. And I'm wondering if we're going to get a rematch with that in the book of Boba Fett going later on, but that's another story for another time. Fennec Shan in this, I just think like with the hype of the her and the Mandalorian and then the book of Boba, Boba coming up, she's going to be a, a very important player coming up. And it's just nice to see their, them doing more with her. Seeing as she is Boba's Zam Wazell, as Django, had, Django Fett had Zam Wazell. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do with her going forward. I think they will have her in season two. Same thing with Cad Bane. So we'll see what happens with them later on. As far as the clones, Clone Force 99, Hunter was one of my favorite characters. I loved his demeanor and his, you know, his relationship with Omega. But I will say, honestly, and I know I speak with the rest of you, that Wrecker was probably my favorite clone out of all this. He, his whole childlike innocence, his relationship with Omega just was one of the shining lights that kept going with me in the show. 
the episode where his chip activated he proceeds to want to fulfill order 66 had me on edge because you knew it was happening with the whole headaches and every episode and it was building and building and building until that i do really like the payoff with that i would have wished it would have went like a little longer but you know you can only do so much when your episodes are 27 26 minutes long even though like i said uh, i was not a big fan of the show i do really appreciate the implications of what they're setting up for future seasons also just other breadcrumbs for other easter eggs with other shows that are happening right now on disney plus and within star wars especially with at the end with the with the planet Wayland. With the whole cloning and Lama Sue and everything. And then at the end with the person dressed up in the same uniform as Dr. Pershing from The Mandalorian. I feel like that's going to be something big going forward, but time will only tell. Anyway, guys, uh, this has been my short review for the show. Like I said, I don't hate it. I really do not hate this show. I don't love it. It's not my favorite but I will accept it. Tell me what you guys think. Did you guys like the show? Did you not like it? Like, were you invested? Were you hyped, super hyped um, at the beginning? Like most of us were, or how were you? Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you could be so kind as to hit that subscribe button, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, and then also hit that bell to get notifications for all my latest videos, that would be great. Thank you guys for watching this. Take care. See you in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye.